So what options do we have? Surgery. Surgery what? We can stop the disease from spreading the rest of your body, but we have to remove some limbs first. Look, we have to remove both arms from the shoulders, but it's not the end of the world. You'll still have a couple of nubs there. <laughs> Go around side. Don't let him escape. Throw a grenade. Kill him, Jeremy. Kill him. Yes, we win. Dylan, we have to leave in five minutes. You better be ready. Shoot. Is that your mom? Yeah. We. Uh, it's Sunday. We have to go to church today. What? What about the tournament? I'll think of something. Mom says we're leaving for church in five minutes, and you need to be ready. Yeah, I heard her all right. Get her out of my room. Dylan, you can't back out. We need you on this one. Uh, I have an idea. Don't make a sound. Dylan, don't make me come down there. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Ow, ow, ow. Ow. Dylan, what are you doing in bed? It's time for us to go to church. Uh, Mom, I don't feel good. What do you mean you don't feel good? What's the matter? Oh, honey, you're burning up. I think you're running a fever. You're gonna have to stay at home and get some rest. He's obviously faking it, Mom. I was in here a minute ago and he was playing video games. What? No, I wasn't. I have the all turned off, look. I told Elena uh, to tell you that I was sick and she just messed up my hair and slapped me for no reason. Elena! I didn't do that, he's lying. It's okay, Mom, I forgive her. I know that's what God would want me to do. Oh, honey, you've got such a big heart. Well, I'm not bringing you to church where you can get other people sick. You're gonna have to stay home and rest, young man. Wait, no, Mom, I think I can still make it. No, 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 you are staying home and getting some rest. Hey, Mom, can you tell God that I'm sorry I couldn't make it today? Of course, honey. Oh, and Mom, could you tell Elena to say a prayer for me at church? I feel like it would really help heal me. You got it, mister. I will have her say three prayers for you right at the altar. I didn't I, do it. I told you not to pick on him. I'm not I... picking on him. He's making it up to make me look bad. Honey. He is sick. We have to try to be more careful He's with him. He's not sick. He was playing a game. He was... He, I yes! It was right then and there that Dylan realized that if he just lied about being sick, he would be able to avoid having to go to church. But not only that, he realized if he lied about being sick, he can get out of a lot of things. From that moment forward, Dylan began to lie about everything. He would lie about being sick to skip church, skip school, skip soccer practice. He was obsessed with lying and playing video games all day long that he didn't want to do anything else. Mom, I'm telling you, he's lying. He does this all the time and you fall for it every time. Honey, I felt his forehead. He was running a fever. You don't ever think he faked it somehow? Maybe he puts a hot rag on his forehead or something. It's like you accept everything he does just because he's the baby of the family. No, I do not. Yes, you do. Just admit it. He's your favorite. Elena, how could you say such a thing? You know that's not true. Yes, it is. You wouldn't let me get away with half the stuff he does now and you know it. Hey, honey. Mom, you scared me. I thought a lot about what you said earlier. About Dylan lying and pretending to be sick all the time? Yeah. And everything else. Honey, I don't ever want you to feel like I'm giving him special treatment over you. You're my daughter, my only daughter, and I love you in more ways than you can ever understand. So, I was wondering if you could help me with something. 
Yeah. What is it? Hey, brother. You ready to go to church tonight? As if. Church is for losers. That's why you have to go. Okay, well, Mom told me to come downstairs and see how you were feeling. Well, tell her I'm sick. You don't look sick. <coughs> I'm sick. Are you sure? 100%. Okay. Yeah, Mom. Says he's sick. Can't come with us. Dylan, can I come in? One second. Dylan, I'm coming in. Honey, I'm getting really concerned that you'll be getting so sick lately. Yeah, I know, Mom, but better to save than sorry, right? Yeah, that's right. So I decided to call a special doctor to come take a look at you. You did what? Yes, and he's here now. Dr. Vincent, please come in. How's it going there, champ? Your mother's been telling me that you've been dealing with a lot of uh, constant fever and stomach pain. Is that right? Um, yeah, that's right, but I think I'm feeling better now, if you ask me. Whoa, 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 champ. Let me just examine you first. Uh, 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 just doesn't look good. Is something wrong? It's just what I suspected. Fictitious Munchausen disease. What is that? It's a very, very rare disease, which leads to a cancerous tumor in the bones and muscles. It thickens nerve tissues in the body and causes swelling, which is probably what's causing these headaches. Well, is there any medication that we can give him for this? I'm afraid not. If we don't catch this disease in the first week, chances of survival is cut in half. So what options do we have? Surgery. Surgery what? We can stop the disease from spreading the rest of your body, but we have to remove some limbs first. Look, we have to remove both arms from the shoulders, but it's not the end of the world. You'll still have a couple of nubs there. And look, if it gets cold, you might be able to put some gloves on your shoulders to keep yourself warm. Doctor, just to be on the safe side, don't you think we should at least remove one of his legs too? That is a good point. Right now I'm thinking that we can start with the right leg. Well, doctor, we should get started as soon as possible. I don't want this thing spreading anymore. What? No, mom, I I'm not sick at all. I I'm fine. We don't have to do any surgery. Of course we do, honey. You've been sick for three weeks now. If, if we don't get on top of this right now, it's just going to get worse. I lied. I lied about everything. I made it up. I just didn't want to go to church. Looks <laughs> 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 so funny. We knew you were lying. We did all this just to get you to confess that you weren't sick and tell the truth for once. Dr. Vincent isn't even a real doctor. You're not? Nope. I'm just a guy trying to become an actor. What do you think? <laughs> Thank you so much for helping us, oh, you're Vincent. Welcome. We really appreciate it. Elena, do you want to go put your shoes on and get ready? What's happening? Well, Elena and I are going to Disneyland for the weekend. I want to go to Disneyland. Oh no, you are going to stay home and think about what you've done. You know, what happens in the dark always comes to light. Oh, and you're grounded for a month and no more video games. No. I hope you guys enjoyed today's life lesson with Luis. Make sure to like and subscribe to this channel so you get notified every time we release a new video. And as always, make sure to share this with someone that you love.